Australian man, Kerry Giacoumis. Um, Kerry's a 29-year-old male from Adelaide. Uh, he's a associate of the Hells Angels Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. Um, we know that Kerry travelled to Victoria from Adelaide on the 5th of June and he was in company with two um, other members of the Hells Angels OMCG. Um, so they travelled over and arrived in Melbourne on the 5th of June. Kerry spent a period of time here between the 5th and 10th of June and uh, the purpose of the trip um, we haven't yet established. He informed his family that he was coming over to do some concreting work and uh, he stayed here for a period of time. He was in regular contact with his family throughout that period. Uh, Kerry's particularly close to his mother. He basically talked to her on a daily basis throughout his adult life and um, that contact ceased on the 10th of June. Um, Kerry had made arrangements with his mother to fly out of Melbourne um, and return to Adelaide on the 10th of June. However, uh, he did not make that flight. So his, uh, his family became increasingly concerned about the lack of contact and he was reported missing uh, to police in Victoria on the 11th of June. Uh, so an investigation commenced um, into his whereabouts um, and concerns were raised increasingly when uh, his phone wasn't active from the 11th of June. Uh, there was no banking records to indicate that he was alive, therefore we've become um, increasingly concerned. We know that uh, whilst in Melbourne, Kerry was associating with various members of the Hells Angels and uh, we also know through the course of our inquiries that Kerry attended a uh, Hells Angels clubhouse in Thomastown and that's the last known sighting um, of Kerry was at that clubhouse in the early hours of the 10th of June. Um, this morning the Homicide Squad combined with the Echo Task Force and uh, Yarra Crime Investigation Unit have executed uh, a number of search warrants. Um, those warrants uh, are still underway. Um, there's an address in Richmond, an address in Melbourne and also the clubhouse in, uh, in Thomastown. We're hopeful that forensic analysis of the clubhouse in Thomastown may lead us um, or provide further information in relation to the circumstances surrounding Kerry's disappearance. Throughout the course of the investigation, we believe there is some internal conflict at play. We don't know precisely what that is. And we're calling on anyone associated with the club who can provide any details to us to, to clarify that, those issues. It's a reasonably long-term association. He's not a patched member of the Hells Angels himself. He's an, he's an associate in South Australia. He's known to police. I don't want to go into any details about his, uh, his history with police. Um, he is employed in South Australia as a, a concreter. He's in the construction industry and he's known to be aligned or associated with the Hells Angels. We have information that earlier in the night he'd been at an address in Richmond. For whatever reason, he's then attended at uh, the clubhouse in Thomastown with a number of Hells Angels members and associates and basically we're looking for someone to fill the gaps now in terms of what played out at that clubhouse. You know, this is a, it's a suspicious disappearance. Um, we're of the opinion that it's likely a murder investigation rather than a, a disappearance and we believe that there will be people in that circle of uh, association who are uh, friendly with Kerry. They might not necessarily agree with what's played out and the actions that have been taken and we're appealing for those people to come forward and provide us with the information that's necessary for us to provide closure for that family.